that the hair came in. Of course, we have our royal blue wig that I'm so excited to try. It also came with these lashes, these skimp lashes that I probably won't wear. It also came with some wig caps, which I really love because this is what I use to install my hair today to do the ball cap method. And it also came with an elastic band that I would use to wrap my hair and my edges at the end. And we have a little info card. So I guess my camera wasn't recording when I went in to pluck this hair, but I really didn't do a in-depth plucking process just because this hair is colored and it already came kind of plucked. So I probably took about six, seven strands, but right now I'm just mapping out the middle of the hair because I want to do two bow ties on my head. So I'm making sure I put a part in the hair so I, I know when I go in with it on my head which part is the middle and then I'm gonna curl the rest of the hair <laughs> did y'all see me burn myself oh look when I curl my hair I be going in because I want these curls to pop okay pop p-o-p -P, pop so you can't get your curls to pop if you don't burn yourself and that's on PD. so I'm pin curling this hair so that the curls can last way longer and I'm gonna leave them in overnight so I'm just gonna let the video play so you see how I typically curl my hair because it's hard to explain I could show you better than I could tell you And this is what the curls look like when it's pin curled. I just wanna say that this color is so vibrant and it's so rich. And what you're seeing is what it looks like in person, okay? Like, I'm just, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared to try this hair color, but this is beautiful. So the first thing I did before applying this wig was to take out the combs. Now I had about like four, but I left the one in the back and I took off the three that was like lining the middle of the wig. And then I'm gonna take my foundation and just put that all over that frontal because that frontal was looking kind of ghostly, transparent, and I needed to blend into my skin, okay? Whenever I want to apply a new wig, I always like to cut the lace into sections. It just makes sure that each section that you're working in lays down how you want it to. Like, you know, when you put down a whole lace on your head one time, you may mess up, shift one side backward, one side is not supposed to be shifted back, all that. So cut it into parts and that will work so much better for you. By now, y'all should know my favorite glue, which is the Bold Hold Active. That's all that I use when I lay my wigs, okay? So this is pretty much self-explanatory. I always do this in my videos, but I'm gonna play it for a little bit so y'all can see. So since this is colored hair, I don't want a lot going on because the hair itself is already bright. So for the baby hairs, I'll probably do like three, four, four, two on each side of my head. Here, I'm just redefining my middle part. I want this to be as straight as it can be. I want it to be laid as possible. So I'm gonna make sure that this is the straightest line that I can make, 
okay I really don't like to pluck my hairs like if I'm doing the middle part I don't want to pluck it in the middle part because sometimes I like to switch up the part in my wigs so I and I feel like that messes up the wig sometimes because some people go overboard I personally don't do it if anything I'll probably put makeup on that lace where I you know made the part now here we're preparing to start the fun part of this process I am sectioning off where I want my buns to start and end. I always say this, a wax stick and your hot comb are going to be your best friend in making sure that your hair lays as flat as you want it to lay. Like this is my holy grail products. If I was not doing the bow tie thing I wanted to do, then I would have left it like this. Do you see the curl in that little ponytail? Trust my curling process, okay? Follow my curling process. If you really want me to do an in-depth tutorial on how I curl my hair, I can do that. Because my curls always pop, okay? This right here was so cute and I wish I would have kept it like this, but we can try that again another time. For now, I wanted to do these bow ties. So I went in with my razor and I trimmed them for my baby hairs. Like I said, I don't want to do anything too dramatic because the hair is already bold itself and I just want minimal baby hairs. So I use my styling foam to mold my edges into place. I have done my makeup. I have done one bow. I don't know if y'all can see the look I'm going for right now. I'm not even going to lie, doing this one bun was just ridiculous, or a bow or whatever. But we're going to try and do the other one. All right, so this is how it's looking. Um, I did my baby hairs. I don't know if I got everything on camera. I was really just going back and forth because, yeah, I thought it was going to take me like one hour to do this. Girl, no. Like, I've done color hair before, but it's like... I don't know. I, I just want to take my time with my hair because I don't want it to look crazy, you know. <laughs> so we're going to do this bun on camera. Can y'all even? Yeah, I really like this. This is so cute. If I was going for this look, this is so cute. But we can do that another time. So I'm going to take since I curled this hair and I don't want oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I really want to keep it like this when I'm trying to do this. This is so cute. Since I curled it, I want this to be like sh close to straight as possible. So I'm just using my hot comb because that's all the only hot tool I have right now. Just to try and like straighten it out. So what you're going to need is a hair tie and some bobby pins for this. You're going to forward fold this hair. Instead of going like this, you're going to go like this, okay? So I'm going to do about like, mm, I'm going to do about this much. And you want to create like a, just a little fold. You don't want anything crazy. Fold it a little bit. Oh, did I mess up? <laughs> And then I'm gonna pull it down a little bit from this part because I put a lot of hair in there and I don't want too much. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna fold this over right here. And I'm gonna use the bobby pin and pin it in the back. Okay, so that's how we're looking. And then I'm gonna spread this part out, you know, to give it the bow look. And then I'm gonna use a bobby pin and pin that down. And then I'm gonna do the same to this side. And that's that. Uh, uh, 
Do they look even? Who cares? So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off all the pin curls. Can I be honest with y'all? I was so nervous to put this in my head. Like the color was just, when I bought the hair, okay, the color was what it said it was. It wasn't washed out. It wasn't, it wasn't any of that. So I didn't know what to expect. Cause I, look, I've been trying to do blue for the longest. And the debate was either buy 613 hair and um, dye it myself or just buy already blue. And I watched tons and tons of videos just to make sure that if I'm buying this, is it blue like you know i wanted to know the quality of the hair i wanted to know all of that and you know sponsored sponsored reviews sometimes they be biased that's that's not new and i just i didn't want to be played with basically so and this hair i'm gonna just start off by saying that this hair is so silky it's silky, it's soft, it curled well. It's holding the curls. As I'm taking the pin curls out, I'm like, oh my gosh, like the curls are there. It curled well. Whenever I decide that I wanna wear this hair straight, we can test that theory out. I'm trying to make sure I took out all the Pin curls and I kind of got them tangled and this is my fault oh my gosh it's messing my curls up <laughs> no whatever we're just gonna brush it out So this is how it looks. I'm just finger combing out. The curves. You know what I mean? And that's it for this little look. I'm gonna go take pictures and stuff, but this is pretty much it. Get into the buns. Can y'all see the buns? Get into the buns. Get into the curls. Period.